In this video, we'll talk about five research-backed in-demand skills that you can develop in order to position yourself to make your first 1 million naira or your first $1,000. And for many of these skills, you don't necessarily need a college degree, but you do need some patience, some time to learn them. And that is what this video is all about. Hi, my name is Fisari Fosudo. Welcome to another Finance Friday episode and our first one for 2023. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Be sure to hit that like button so more people can benefit from the knowledge we'll be sharing in this video. All right, without further ado, let's get to the video. This Finance Friday episode is brought to you by ALX. Find out more about how you can get up to $15,000 in scholarships to improve your technical skills later in this video. The first in-demand skill we're talking about is graphic design or even web design. This is a creative skill that you can develop and I've told my story on this channel before about how I started out as a graphic designer in my second year of university. I designed flyers, I designed banners, I even printed some banners to earn some extra income in school. I then started freelancing for a few years and I actually majored in web design or user interface design. This is where I earned most of my income as a designer and later on I got employed after school where where I learned video production on the job. I sort of mixed my passion for design and my skill for video editing into this channel. Also, my economics degree kind of helped me become more knowledgeable about the happenings in the economy. And that is why I have sort of a diverse range of topics on the channel. But I digress. The tools you need to learn this skill are Adobe's Photoshop and or Figma, which is owned by Adobe. I rank these two apps much higher or much more important than the other ones, but it's subjective. Then there's also Sketch, which is for interface design, Adobe Illustrator for vector-based design, InDesign for book designs, which I've done a few times. And do you know what's crazy? If you actually dedicate your mind to it, you can use as much as seven to 14 days with the right courses to get comfortable with these softwares. And you can actually start playing around with them. My own path was to take those existing designs and remake them the way I wanted them to be or to be as close as possible to those designs. You will need to do this with great designs of course. One course I always recommend and I'm not getting paid to is an assault typography course. I had to get all our editors to take that course because it really opens your mind on how typography should look. Aina Salt is a professor, she's an actual professor of typography and that course changed my perspective and dare I say my life even. I'll have it linked in the description below. Also, if you want to see my story and how I made over $15,000 as a graphic designer in around 6 months, you can click the card above or the link in the description below to watch that video. The next skill is web development. This is a tech skill. Whether you're looking at specializing in front-end development, back-end development, or being a full-stack developer, which is sort of a combination of both front-end and back-end, or you want to specialize in creating mobile apps, websites, user interfaces, which is kind of what we touched on in the design category. It's also what I did for a few years. This is a very in-demand path for a lot of people in 2023. And with the rise of AI, a lot of companies are actually looking for how they can key into this wave. I have worked closely with developers, I've hired developers, and I've also tried it out, but I quickly gave up. There's a high earning potential in this line of work, potentially thousands of dollars, especially when you've become much better at it over time. You need to get familiar with GitHub and let your curiosity run wild. If there's ever anything you don't know, always use Google. Get familiar with deploying apps on the Play Store, or Apple's App Store, and what tools you need to set it up, whether it's learning how servers work or to get from just designs to actual functioning apps and even websites. These days, there's an influx of no-code tools or tools like WordPress or Squarespace that you can actually use to create websites even when you don't know so much coding. The question would be, how can you find a way to first off commit the time to learning practicing a lot and then offering your services. You can sign up on freelancing websites like Upwork or Fiverr and then keep learning and keep practicing. This is where ALX comes in. ALX is a leading tech platform and one of their goals is to enhance the careers of young Africans interested in tech or any professional skills that will make them excel in the digital economy. If you want to get into tech and become a professional, start your own business in tech or become an entrepreneur, ALX can give you world-class training to prepare you to take on the world. The courses ALX has for this year are on how you can become an AWS Cloud Practitioner in partnership with AWS. So if you want to improve your expertise in IT and the cloud, 
this one is for you. There's a course on how you can become a Salesforce administrator in partnership with Salesforce. Taking this course seals you into one of the few most sought after tech roles across diverse industries. There's also a course on data analytics that can help you get certified as a data analyst and you'll learn how to read data patterns, programming, and more. Another course is on data science, which prepares you to be a professional in data visualization. Python programming, and machine learning with hands-on qualification experience. These courses range from $7,500 to $15,000, but hold on. ALX offers fully funded scholarship to those whose entries fit their criteria. Plus, the available courses will only be open until the 27th of March, 2023, and I strongly advise you quickly put in an early application. They even have a course on software engineering coming soon, and that course is worth $39,750. And it involves you learning front-end, back-end, full-stack development, and many other skills. This is a ton of value that you're getting by having any of these courses fully sponsored. And ALX is doing this in partnership with the MasterCard Foundation. Again, I advise you to apply early before this deadline. But before you apply for these courses, you need to have a basic tech understanding. You need to have a strong pledge towards learning, and you must be able to commit full time to the courses. And of course, you must be dedicated and committed to completing any of the courses you take for 2023. If you want an early application or you want to know more about the courses, click the link in the description below and proceed with your registration. Also, do read more about ALX on their website as you do that. How will taking any of these courses positively impact your life? Do leave a comment below. The next in-demand skill is writing, specifically writing for marketing. In my opinion, this is a mixture of the creative side and the business side of this skill. Think of people who are looking to reach out to their customers via newsletters or copy, which would be a few words on a website, social media, or other marketing materials. This can be useful for people who are looking to optimize their search engine ranking. So when people search for their businesses, they get to see what you wrote on Google's homepage in a manner that informs and convinces their potential customers to make a purchase. I've also hired a few writers on the channel here to help with some scripts or to compile research-based videos and also sourcing. So you can actually reach out to people who you think you can deliver this writing service to and you know offer your skill. One of our writers was actually hired this way. He reached out and we were able to work on a few projects together. So. You never know. To master this skill and to be able to earn from it, first off, you need to be a very good reader, in my opinion. If you want to write, you should love reading because I don't see how they don't go hand in hand. Also, reading good quality materials, apart from making you more knowledgeable, it helps you understand how to write better or how to write better materials. You should also write daily. And if you've noticed with this video, we've talked about practicing, designing daily, coding daily, writing daily, and that's the only way you can get better at something. If you want to understand how habits work, there's a book that I highly recommend for you. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clare, and you can check it out with the link in the description. It can help broaden your mind and even motivate you to get into the habit of whatever it is that you want to do. You want to take courses on the niches you're writing about. If you're doing business, creative, or academic writing, these niches have their own styles. It also helps to stay informed as often as possible. Another in-demand skill is photography. This is a creative skill as well. Whether you want to be a freelance photographer who people can hire for specific types of pictures, whether you want to do photojournalism, which is basically taking pictures of newsworthy places, people, or events, um, commercial photography, or even product photography, which involves taking photos either of buildings, items, or products for a business. And a more common one, portrait photography, which is professional looking pictures of people. Photography is so broad, but with the right commitment, you can also learn this skill too. As with every other skill we've mentioned on this list, you cannot excuse the learning. Even if you feel like you have a good eye for photography, you still need to take a course or even courses to understand some technicalities. Things like exposure, what RAW is, and everything in between is something you definitely need to work on. And you also need a lot of work experience in order to master the art of photography and you need to keep improving. You don't need to get a big fancy camera to start, although a DSLR would instantly bring you miles ahead in learning. Your phone could work fine, but it's not going to get you hired professionally. A friend of mine, Amazing Clef, who actually took these pictures of me, has courses and workshops on how to take professional photos. If you're interested, I highly vouch for him and I'm not getting paid to say this. I and many of his clients won't mind spending hundreds of thousands of naira to pay for his work, and he does have numerous clients like that. If that's something that interests 
suits you, that's one way to start and build. In all of these two, a lot of people hire you based on your portfolio. Whether you're a designer, you're a photographer, you're a writer or a coder, you should have a website that you can use to showcase your latest and your best work. So when people want to hire you or when you're in networking, you can easily have a URL that quickly explains what you're about. The fifth in-demand skill we'll be looking at is developing a skill for filmmaking or video editing. This is interesting to me in many ways because from the age of 17, I believe I always wanted to create videos, especially here on YouTube. I looked up to creators like MKPHD and got so inspired by his cadence and how he prioritized quality, which is what I try to do on the channel here. Video editing is a creative skill as well, but how can you make money from it? Just like photography, you can actually become a freelance filmmaker or video editor. Filmmaking is more of the entire process from scripting, producing, post-production, which is where video editing comes under, and then publishing your film or distributing it. So video editing kind of falls under filmmaking. To become good at video editing, it will require a lot of patience. As with the other points again, practice, practice, practice. A great way to break into video editing would be to first off, take a course on it from a very reputable platform like LinkedIn Learning or Skillshare. There are also tons of free videos on YouTube here from seasoned editors and filmmakers that you can take advantage of if you're on a tight budget. Just as I said for writers that they should read a lot, as a video editor, you should watch a lot of well-edited videos so you can see styles that suit your taste and you can get a sense of how each shot was achieved. Like the photography section, phone cameras have become so good, but unless you're creating content online, and that is your style, people may not hire you unless you have a professional camera. A camera that I would recommend for someone starting out is the one I started with which is the Canon T6i or the Canon 70D. And for videos, if you're on the Sony side, we made a video on the best Sony cameras you can get and what value you can get them in with just $1,000 and up. That video will be linked in the description below. As a bonus or a sixth option, we've got voiceover work. One platform is Amazon's ACX. ACX means audiobook creation exchange from audible.com or you can actually join platforms like Fiverr or Upwork. I've hired voiceover artists myself and what they needed to do was just put up a sample of their work, which they've previously done, or just sound bites, so I know how they sound like. I've hired them for commercials. And people can work with voiceover artists for whole audiobooks, educational videos on YouTube or other platforms. They can work with voiceover artists for kid videos or any kind of promotional or commercial videos, and even movie dubs. You don't necessarily need a degree for this, and you might just need certain voice trainings, but you surely need to work on your craft to practice and to network. Unfortunately, ACX is not available for Nigerians, but Fiverr and Upwork are available. So there you have it. These are five or six proven skills that you can actually use to make money on the internet. A line I read in a book once said, we are all in sales now. In all of these, please also try to read a lot more books. And one tip I learned is that to make more money, you have to sell to people who have more money. It just makes sense that offering your services to a larger body can fetch you a larger income, but you have to prioritize quality. So check out this video where I break down my sources of income and how you can possibly earn around $500 a day or even more doing what I'm doing. I'll see you there.